So I'm definitely behind on our board, but I try and have my students write down how many heads, how many harvests we've been able to get from the different things that we grow. Um, in the summer, I'm really experimenting, so you'll see a variety. You'll see some that don't look the most ideal. You'll see a few things going to bolt. Um, right now, it's just me here. So I'm really having the ability to play around with the system, figure out how long can I let something go prior to harvesting it, or when it'll actually get super bitter. We have a numerous different variety of lettuce. This is probably my third or fourth that I've done this summer. I think it keeps really well. It doesn't get super tall. It's kind of easy to see over the course. Sometimes I'm not paying attention to our grow light settings and adjusting them as needed. Um, the tip burn is usually very normal. Rabbits don't want to mix, kids don't want to mix. If I have someone that kind of looks at it funny, we'll just cut it all off, use everything else. With a system like this, we have so, 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 so much lettuce that it's really easy to be picky about our quality and the here, where we don't have to worry about not having enough. We usually have an abundance. And any, I guess you could say, lower leaves or anything that might get a little nasty or dirty or fall on the ground on harvest days, we actually usually throw in a bucket and feed to our rabbits. This is one of my success stories. I've really enjoyed this. I always buy sheep seeds and just kind of play around with them. So at the Dollar Tree, you'll usually see a little blue packet of seeds and it's four for a dollar. Or maybe a dollar twenty-five now, I'm not sure. It's around twenty-five cents a seed packet. And I've gotten this along for the side at different methods of ag. And I really never got it to not just germinate and grow, but really prosper and be super nice and happy and healthy and keep it for a while. But in this system, I had so much cilantro. I think I've had it in here since early June. And this one I'm letting kind of fall to the growth, so I want to see if I can pluck the seeds off of it. Uh, but I've really enjoyed how easy it was and how successful and how it's really stayed. And I've been able to get multiple harvests. I've just did a little bit of cut and grow. Some mm -hmm. I just harvested, transplanted, replaced them. And I really felt that was super cool. I've never really been successful with that. It's super cheap seeds. And it was really nice to have cilantro all summer to get a lot of bunches off of it to share it with our ProStar teacher or our one-on-one -on -one connect teacher, as well as other staff members around school. And for me to be able to enjoy and kind of get ready to show the kids and let them have that option. And it's really just learning different varieties, what the kids like, what we like, what the teachers really like, and what grows the best. This is like a red oak leaf. This is from Baker Creek. I have to get the exact name. I really like how this stays pretty lower. It's a more compact head. It has a color. It's a really pretty leaf. It's something that I would probably do with a spring mix or a salad with variety. This variety is really low. Well. I don't really struggle with fit burn. Another variety is Johnny's Seeds. I found a small head of lettuce. Mm -hmm. That had a lot of texture to it. It's really beautiful. The first our teacher adored it. The great and my aquaponics, or my hydroponics, excuse me. I will say between the two systems, they both have their own preference. Um, I find a lot of the smaller heads, faster burns, is really great over here. And you're not over here, you're really awesome. You really don't have any fish on the side, so definitely you can be, kind of pay more attention or tend to. Our aquaponics system a lot more, but our little hydroponics system is super fun. My favorite thing about having the kids do all this is not only do they start taking ownership, it is their fish, it's their lettuce, and all of their plants. They really enjoy trying the different varieties of lettuce, but I find doing this and having the kids so involved and hands-on that they will try and actually taste anything now. That even though whenever we first started talking about it, planning and saying we're going to start these seeds, and they might have been totally against it. I do not eat that. I will not touch it. I don't want it. Now they are going back for seconds, devouring it, bringing it home, wanting to bring the seeds home, or starting plants and seedlings. And it's really fun to see the kids kind of mature, become more open-minded and adventurous. Now they don't mind if things are green. They love pesto. They've even experimented with different recipes as like a PBIS event. And it's been really nice just to see them to eat more healthy food. They've enjoyed it as well. Thank you very much.